Hi, my name is Scott Schumann. I'm here in the Franciacorta region of Italy to learn more about the fantastic Villa Biondelli. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm Francesca. Hi, nice, to, nice meet to meet you. Nice to meet you, Scott. I'm Yoska. Ah, thank you so much for having me. It's so nice to Welcome meet you guys. Welcome to our home. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Thank you guys so much for inviting me to this beautiful space. Before we get started, tell me a little bit about yourselves. Uh, I lived in London and New York for some time, and then I came across this project thinking that it would have been a couple of years long. Instead, I'm still here. It's been six years, and it became a lifetime project. Because uh, from what I understand, you guys met in a very unique way. Yes, we did. I also spent some time abroad before focusing on this project, which was primarily winemaking at first. Um, and then after a few years of that, I thought I would turn this family house into a small boutique hotel. And uh, I knew that I would need an interior designer to help me. And uh, what started as a business relation turned out to be a much more project. after, and here we are. In America, we would call that a meet cute, and it would become a movie. <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe one day. <laughs> I grew up in this house. My family spent a lot of time here when my brother and I were younger and this was our summer house. This place had a beautiful story. During the World War II, an Italo-American production moved to this house because Milan was being bombed and they were doing one of the first animated movie of Europe. It was about Aladdin's lamp, basically. And so I used this story as an inspiration for the entire renovation. I love the, the jungle kind of... The thing. jungle was made by designers from Milan, actually. And the idea was, I don't like wallpaper, because wallpaper tends to uh, get ruined. But if a painting gets ruined with time, it just gets, you know, a different flavor. And it just becomes more and more beautiful with time. The idea is to make this room a transition between outside and inside. Now, you know, scent is so important for creating an ambiance in a space like this. How did you choose the scents for this space? To me, scents are about leaving like uh, an unforgettable mark on people's minds. So first impression is always very important because this is a boutique winery where people spend time together and enjoy time together. I picked Insieme because it reminds me of a way of spending time with your family and friends in a joyful way. You had mentioned you work with wine, yes, so you work absolutely. with your nose a lot. You're very absolutely. sensitive to that. Do you have yes. a favorite? Yes, yes. Well, I, I, I'm very fond of Luce di Colonia. I can't stand when scents are too invasive. And I find Luce di Colonia very discreet, very elegant, yet it's so personal. It gives the homely feel that I always hope we, we would manage to convey to all the people who come and visit us. This is not uh, a corporate venue, for, so to speak. It's still uh, a home to me, and, uh, and, and this scent helps me a lot in, in trying to convey that sort of feeling. That is such a great story. I mean, and you can really tell the, um, the love and care that you two put into this space. Well, thank you guys very mm -hmm. much. Thank, thank you, you thank for you. coming. Thank you for having me. Is it time for a little bubbly on the, uh, on the veranda, in the yeah. terrace? Absolutely. Why not? Why not? Absolutely. 